tonight at 6 as our legislative session is now underway. There is a renewed push to get rid of the state income tax. Now this may sound like a good idea on the surface. However, 11 Alive's Doug Richards learned today the price tag for the state could be three billion dollars and your family could end up paying a lot more for things like groceries and retail. Doug? Yeah, you know, a lot of conservatives for years have felt like income taxes are more painful to pay than collected uh, taxes collected at retail establishments, sales taxes. And so what would happen if you just eliminated income taxes and substituted all that money with sales taxes? It appears Georgia lawmakers uh, will get to explore that this year. Completely eliminate the state income tax. It's time. Former U.S. Senator David Perdue built his failed campaign for governor last year around what Republicans call the fair tax. Though voters rejected Perdue, Emory Donahue has embraced Perdue's tax proposal. We bring forth a broad-based consumption tax. It's been broken for way too many years. The proposal would eliminate the state income tax, eliminate the state's 4% sales tax, and replace it all with a new sales tax, which Donahue calls a consumption tax of 75 to 8%. That would be in addition to local taxes collected by cities and counties, putting the sales tax at around 16 or 17% in the city of Atlanta. A state audit says the scheme would cost the state more than $3 billion in 2025. And really, for most Georgians, what this would represent is a massive tax increase, the largest tax increase uh, of, of their lifetimes. The fair tax would also require Georgians to pay taxes on groceries that are currently exempt from sales taxes. Fiscal analyst Danny Canzo says it would also burden lower income taxpayers with a larger share of state taxes than they pay now. That's going to be less money in their pockets. Republicans who favor the uh, fair tax system say it would simplify taxes uh, and that it would also be more business friendly. Uh, it was a pretty compelling issue for conservatives uh, in last year's election year. This year is not an election year. Live in DeKalb County, Doug Richards, 11 Alive News.